Sir Pesel, Honorable Ricardo San Jose, the Second District Councillors, Honorable Alan P. Panaligan, Sir, the Honorable Donabel M. Vindebel Bam, the Honorable Arnel Regina Tiracillo, the Honorable Edita Guaymaquera Bam, and to the Honorable Aileen Padua and Honorable Judy T. Gonzalez, the, the City Secretary, Attorney Roberto Villa, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning. Those who fail to learn from the past are doomed to repeat it. I, Your Honor, with your permission, uh, let me allow me to continue my speech in consonance with this uh, House Declaration, Your Honor. Okay, proceed. Those who fail to learn from the past are doomed to repeat it. The former president of Great Britain, Winston Churchill, once said, As members of the city's finest leaders, we are obliged to hit a fall a call to secure the future of the citizenry of Pasay. With that, the people are expecting us that we should be planning for the advancement of basic public service in this progressive city. We are expected that we should safeguard the future through a detailed and people-centered approach on which at the end it is them that shall enjoy the fruit of our decisions and actions as leaders. The BNP vision states that a modern fire service fully capable of ensuring a fire safety region by 2034. The Pasay Central Fire Station as the lead agency of this city in assuring and ensuring the fulfillment of the said vision is driven with a purpose that fuels our service in attaining a fire safe community. With that, we can attain that vision through unity with an agreed goal, and that is making Pasay City a premier and world-class city, a piracy and disaster-resilient city. What is disaster-resiliency? It is the capability and the capacity of a community to withstand a certain disaster. It is the capability to prevent, mitigate, the capacity to prepare, respond and the capacity to stand after a disaster to its previous state of otherwise or otherwise built back better. The advancement of technology, your honors, became a matter of preference in today's society, where in fact those old apparatus or fire engines procured and acquired during the 90s became inutile and some of those became permanently out of service and subject to this poor disposal. What are we trying to say with this point? Buildings and structures around the city were getting higher and higher. Business establishments were getting higher each year and the population growth is inevitable. For the record, there were only four current fire stations established strategically around the city. If we are going to base and refer to the ideal fire engine is to population ratio, the city shall have at least 18 fire engines that has the capacity to serve 28,000 population. The current fire rescue ladder manned by the station of honors has the capability of 9 to 10 floors, working capacity and a maximum stretch of 11th floor only. The problem now is when the place for the, on the 20th floor, for example, can we utilize our available rescue ladder to perform a task? The answer is no, simply because it is out of its capacity. My point here, honorable ladies and gentlemen of this plenary, is that we need to procure and acquire new apparatus. Engines and equipment for us to be able to compensate the advancement of this society up to date and the equipment for us to be able to compensate the advancement of this society up to date and state of the art equipment is the best thing we can provide to the citizenry. 
for us to be able to render the best public service we can give. As a sole agency responsible in fire prevention and protection, fire is the most often disaster to happen in a city featuring over almost half a million population of your owners, like as a city. According to Bacasa, which is the official weather bureau of this nation, we are expecting an average of 20 typhoons per year. Unlike the fire, this type of incidents could happen on a daily basis, your owners. Having to the degree of vulnerability, awareness, and the people's compliance to fire safety standards set forth by the law, which is Republic Act 1914, otherwise known as the Fire Code of the Philippines of 2008. Although fire is the most frequent disaster to happen, unlike the earthquake and typhoon, it is also the most preventable hazard. In what way we can prevent, mitigate, and be prepared for such for such disaster. The approach must be zealous, proactive, and preventive. Fire safety awareness, your honors, should be enforced through proper legislation of activities and ensure the sustainability of such program. That will enhance the knowledge of the people regarding fire safety. To sustain a program, we should come up with an answer that is flexible in a problem-oriented approach. <laughs> flexible in a sense that we shall ensure a seamless and progressive output with every approach we can identify for a long-term impact to every people of Masai Jarrahs. Thus, this tactics, thus, this tax declaration is all about. We need to come up with a sustainable source of fund for us to ensure the continuity of every approach that we are going to implement for the purpose of the betterment of the kind of public service we are giving to the people. The question here is how we came up imposing 10 percent local fire tax collection on all local fees. To begin, the purpose of this added charge is to support the programs, projects, and activities of the Cities Bureau of Fire Protection as the lead agency in fire prevention, protection, and suppression. Then, why 10%? In connection to the Bureau of Fire Protection vision, the purpose of this tax declaration is to ensure the area of jurisdiction of the city attain a fire safe community by bringing their oil. BFP will be using this fund to support the rehabilitation, structural retrofitting and improvement of every persuasion within Pasay City. Likewise, the, the mission is to respond to man-made and natural disaster and other emergencies. The person local fire tax shall be used as the source of fund for the provision of medical supplies and emergency vehicles such as ambulance, fire and other apparatus, must sort of incident bus, vehicle and mobile fire command vehicle for proper management of the runners of incidents during fire and other related disasters. Who will benefit from the imposed 10 percent? The benefit of this 10 percent added charge of runners will support the Bureau of Protection, secure passage cities, high-rise buildings, establishments and other public places from destructive fires and this fund shall be used as a fund to obtain modernized the needed equipment for fire suppression prevention and in increasing the people's awareness regarding fire safety ladies and gentlemen of this plenary our city has been hit with destructive fires several times of different magnitude to name some on the side of commercial business establishments where the region of Manila Hotel, now here it is, Hotel, fire incident, the Resorts World Manila, the Midas Hotel, and the recently Star City fire incident. The implication on the side of fire safety on our city should be given an emphasis for us to deal a timely issue that on the future we can prevent the occurrence of the same fate as we have experienced in the past. We are a promising city graced with inevitable development. We should provide our investors the quality of safety on their businesses, trains, and on the side of commercial aspects of the city. 
so that we can sustain the development that we are heading as we are now as the premier travel city. With approach stated here about the runners, the Bureau of Arbitration cannot be mobilized without the support and assistance from the local executives and legislators of Basel City. As our efforts and actions shall complement with, it, with each other's goals and aspirations under them, <coughs> we shall promote, promote and preserve our identity as a community striving for success and development. It is for this reason that this tax declaration, Your Honors, is to be imposed for the purpose of capacity building and, and strengthening the local government units support in the efforts of achieving and developing the sustainable resiliency, the resilient and a fire safe And because we have a different jurisdiction, your honor, even though the national government is already imposing 10% of all fees charged by the local government as the national fire code, your honor, we have a different jurisdiction. So it will not constitute your honor as government taxation, your honor. With this, thank you very much, Your Honor, and uh, the City Fire Marshal. So, we are going to now, Your Honor, is willing to answer your questions. Thank you. Okay, any questions? Good morning, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Ma. Sabi mo nga po kanina, ay yung dating 9 to 11 po ang yes, na mga building natin dito. Ay nagkaroon na po tayo ng 28 floors. 28 floors na po ngayon dito. So, tama po naman para sa akin na mabigyan nyo ng diin yung safety ng ating mga mga bayan na nasa yung pasal. At para po sa akin, yung 10% is hindi na burden do sa mga pinukuha na uh, nagbabayad sa atin ng permit at saka ng pamilya. Hindi po siguro magigat yung additional na 10% para itagdag natin do sa 28,000 na population natin. Ngayon, alin po dito sa inyong report. At Napakaganda po ng inyong hangarin para po sa kalitasan ng